as we approach the end of the year, I thought I would take this opportunity to show you guys some of the amazing books I was able to add to my comic collection this year and also how I was able to do this. Stay tuned. So this year has been a really good one for me in terms of adding some really cool books to my comic collection. Now what I'm going to do is I'll show you, I've got about 10 books in my hand at the moment. So what I'll do is I'll go through each book in no particular order and we'll have a little discussion of how I was able to add these to my collection. So the first book is Infinite Crisis Issue 5. This is a really lovely copy. And this is the, for those who don't know, this is the first appearance or full appearance in costume with the new Blue Beetle, Jamie Reyes. I did manage to pick up um, the full run of, of this in a, in a recent comic collection. Um, I will link down below the video to that collection that I picked up too, if you guys are interested. But yeah, a really cool book, really good future potential in that one too. And next up, we have the New Teen Titans, issue number two. And again, for those guys that don't know, this is the first appearance of Deathstroke. A really cool book, really good future potential for this character as well, with what James Gunn's doing with the DC universe at the moment. But really lovely copy. And again, um, in a recent collection, I managed to pick up the full run. So issue one of this through to the Tales of New Teen Titans, issue 50, I think it was. But yeah, really nice copy. Next up, we have Omega Men, issue number three. And for those that don't know, this is the first appearance of Lobo. It's uh, not a bad copy. It's quite nice, but it's got a bit of rub there. Just on the spine, just up here, but not bad. It's about eight, five, nine. Not a bad copy. Next up, um, I did already have a copy of this in the collection, but I've added this. This is a nicer, nicer copy, I think, from what I had previously. This is Tales of Teen Titans issue number forty-four, and this is the first appearance of Nightwing. Again, this is from the same collection. Next up, this is a book that I did already have. I had this one graded. Um, what I've done is I pulled the full set from the recent collection. And this one was in there. So we've got Secret Wars issue number eight. This one was a newsstand. Um, I had the direct in a CGC 9.2. So what I ended up doing was actually selling the full set that I got from the collection, issues one. It was a full run of Secret Wars. Um, and I kept the new stand and I sold my CGC graded book with that collection. So yeah, I'll be getting that one graded shortly. Very good copy. Um, next up, this one you will have seen previously, but I actually managed to get it graded this year. So we have um, Amazing Spider-Man, issue 252. And that's the first appearance of Spider-Man's black suit. Or ties with Marvel Team of 141. But yeah, came back as a CGC 9.2, which I'm quite happy about. I did press these myself prior to getting graded. So I'm happy with that. Next up, again, a book that I did have in my collection. Well, I was um, fortunate enough again to get a nice grade on this one. We've got the Batman issue 423. With the absolutely iconic artwork by Todd McFarlane. This is one of my all-time favourite books, so I did have to get this graded. I love that one. Um, next up, we have The Flash, issue 108. And this is part three of the Gorilla Grodd trilogy. It's a Silver Age book for those that don't know. Um, these next few were basically 
I was able to pick these next few books up due to buying and selling comic collections throughout the year. So it was a really good way of building up or helping me to build up my own collection. So next up, this is one of my absolute favorite ones in my collection so far. Definitely one of the bigger books I've picked up this year. Um, we have issue 110 of The Flash. And for those that don't know, it's the first appearance of Kid Flash, a.k.a. Wally West. It is a low, lower grade, but for me it's a sweet spot with these Silver Age books. And they're getting increasingly harder to find. So very happy to get that one. And last but definitely not least, um, I was actually able to pick this one up from a fellow YouTuber, James at Minhunter Comics. Um, again, saved up money, sold comics, bought comics, collections, and I was able to finally pick up one of my absolute favourites. It's Flash 106. And this leaves me with only a few issues left of the earlier Silver Age Flash now. So hopefully in the coming year I'll be able to pick these up. So this is the first appearance of Gorilla Grodd. And the first appearance of Pied Piper. So two pretty big Flash villains. So yeah, that was them. Um, do let me know what you think. And let me know what you guys have picked up this year. And also, it would be cool to let me know what you're looking forward to picking up next year. So I think I'll do a video in the new year about my um, my coming goals over the next year, over 2024, and what I want to pick up. Thanks for watching, guys. As usual, take care.